This video shows you how to create custom drop-down options for your custom form fields. Go to Settings, scroll down to Coverage Types and Custom Data Fields. Click Edit. Click Create Drop-downs. Click New Drop-down. Let's do something simple first. Let's do Yes or No as the name. Hit Create. We are going to hit the Values option here. Click New Record. Description is Yes. Value can be Yes or Y, whatever your preference is there. Sort order is 1. Create. Let's add a new record. Description is No. Value is N, sort order is 2. Create. The value is helpful if you've used a previous CRM and you're porting over data. If your old CRM had a value of Y for yes or 1 for yes, you can set those values here so that they come over properly. The sort order just allows yes to be the first option and no to be the second option you'll see in the dropdown. Let's go back to the dropdown home and do something a bit more interesting. Click New Dropdown. Let's do Coverage Amounts. Create. You can rename the dropdown here. So let's say we wanted to change it to Coverage Amount. You just edit and update. Let's add values. Add a new record. Let's say 10,000 and the value is 10K. Sort order is 1. Create. Add new value. 10,001 to 49,000. Maybe this to you is tier 2 or level 2. You can really use these values to make it a custom experience for your team. Let's see what we've created. Settings. Coverage types and custom data fields. If I go to the field Medicare eligible, Instead of text, I can now choose yes or no and update. If I go to Watercraft, I can choose coverage amount. Instead of text, I can choose coverage amount and update. The drop-down option is great because rather than having agents typing in text where they could mistype or misspell something, the drop-down will give better stability to the data for reporting purposes. Let's see this in a lead view. Let's check out Dave Wolf. I'll assign him a watercraft so that we can see the coverage amount drop-down that we just set up. Coverage amount now shows the selection options.